God said, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Welcome to the moment of light with faith with Joe Lorundari. God bless you. Let us pray. King of glory, we appreciate you because you are Lord of all. Thank you because life for expansion are in your hands. It is your plan for us to be the best you want us to be. It is your plan for us to expand beyond measure, to excel in all ways. It is your plan for us to overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. It is your plan for us to be champions and winners. It is your plan for us to make it to the end. It is your plan for us, Lord, to have life everlasting. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. In this episode, we'll be considering breaking the limit to expansion. Breaking the limit or limitation to expansion. Wow. I know it is our individual prayers to expand. I'll be using Isaac as a case study in this episode. Genesis chapter 26 verse 22. Genesis 26 verse 22. And the Bible says, And he removed from there. I'm reading King James Version. And he removed from thence and did another well. And for that they strove not. And he called the name of, of it Rehoboth. And he said, For now the Lord had made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. We shall be fruitful in the land. What a confidence that this man of God had because he was aware of the covenant of God upon his life. He was aware that serving God is a monster expansion. You don't serve God and go low. You don't serve God and go small because he's a big God. What we need is to be faithful in serving him. Then he, served, he will serve us. You serve God, God serves you. You know, when we make ourselves just like vehicles in his end, God will maintain us as his vehicles. Or when we present ourselves as his vessels, he doesn't discard his vessels not being appreciated. So we are honorable vessels of God. The Bible says there are some vessels that are of honor. There are some that are of dishonor. Yes, in the hand of God, we are vessels. If you are faithful vessels, he makes use of us as honorable vessels. So he doesn't discard. You know, again, I love, I love Matthew 6, 33, as Jesus said, you know, that we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing will be added unto us. You know, God appreciates his own. Like the case of Isaac, who understood being in covenant and was walking with the consciousness of the covenant of God upon his life because he remember his father Abraham was in a covenant with God and he walked in that covenant you know that God added with, with his father he became his own and he was walking with God irrespective of what happened around him even in a strange land he was he was there a lot of challenges came his way he was there he was successful bigger than even the city the Lord said he should not go and seek help in any way he should not go to any place he should not go to Egypt he should stay in that city and he was there and he enjoyed the best of God you know, even irrespective of the challenges he met with, but he overcame. He got to the place, he said, now this is the resting place. God has made room for us. We we'll stay here and we have, and it was fruitful in the land. And we shall be fruitful in the land. When God is involved in a matter, you'll be fruitful in the land. So what are the limitations? You know, he conquered the limitation of 
you know, of fear, he conquered the limitation of, you know, the, the challenges of the enemy, he conquered the limitation of persecution and all that, you know, a lot, in so many ways, they covered the well he was digging, and this man was not tired. How many ways that something has actually challenged your faith, challenged your conviction, and you have given up, you know, you are limiting yourself if you give up. That greater place that God is taking you to, you must break the limits to get there. If you don't break limits, you won't get there. Before we could hear what is Rehoboth, and all of us, we can organize a program and title it Rehoboth. We can organize a crusade and call it Rehoboth. We can organize a retreat and call it Rehoboth. You know, it was because a man walked in covenant and also made up his mind to break limits to his expansion. And indeed, he grew great and he was he was great and he was very great in in his expansion god enlarged his coast god expanded it you know, is it possible that a governor will announce an expansion of road and there will be nothing like demolition i don't think so they will demolish something they will demolish is either a building they demolish is either a bridge a board or soundboard or whatever they must demolish something whenever the populace hear about expansion of roads they will be fidgeting people will be crying they will be they will be shouting why because it must actually go with demolition so if we want god to expand us you must break limit limit of faithlessness unbelief you must break limit of doubt you must break limit of sin of addiction so god appeared to isaac not to be afraid of what must go for his expansion to come god told him he should not be scared he should not be afraid god god can decide to touch anything God can decide to move anything, to remove anything. So, if you're not be in an agreement with God to remove something, that means you are not ready for expansion. I believe God is pointing to something in you. You have been asking God why you are not growing spiritually, why business is not growing, why your life is not moving forward, why things are not working. You have been asking questions. But have you asked yourself questions? Is there any limitation to this my expansion that I've been yearning to have? For some, it is limitation of addiction. What are the secret things you have been addicted to and you know within you that God is not happy with? Some have even been addicted to laziness. Some have been addicted to procrastination. I will do it tomorrow. Some have been addicted to carelessness. Some have been addicted to pride. They can't take anything small. They despise the day of little beginning. Some have been addicted to wastage of time and resources. Some have been addicted to prayerlessness. Some have been addicted to secret and open sin. Some have been addicted to settling down and enjoy the family spell. Some have been addicted to inferiority complex. I categorize all of them as addiction because anything in your life that have been there for long and you have not sought a way around it to push it out of your life is an addiction and God is not happy with it. That will cost you a stagnant position perpetually. You must take your life. You must break the limit in order for you to expand. Break the limit of sin. That is the yoke of sin. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 7. Who are ye mountain before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain. Look at that sin to its face and say, Lord Jesus, help me. I want to expand. I want you to take it out so that I will enter the room you have made for me. I will arrive at my real boat. Isaac understood the covenant under which he was working. And he, he did not look at the distraction around. He chased out and faced the distraction to his face. He focused at God and he got into the expansion that God wanted him to have. In the kingdom of God, you serve God and you receive gain. In the kingdom of God, you serve God and become like him. In the kingdom of God, you serve God and accept his reward. Do you want to expand in ministry, spiritually, 
in marriage, in your finances? Do you want to expand in this, your working relationship with God? If your answer is yes, you must get yourself delivered from addiction. And that is why in this episode of Moment of Light, the Lord is opening our eyes, is illuminating our path in order for us to be delivered and to be free and get into the level of great expansion. Receive expansion in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and ask God, Father, break every yoke of limitation in my life. Break every addiction of limitation in my life. What are those things limiting you? I want you to open your mouth and ask God. I break it. Is it secret sin? Confess the sin. Is it open sin? Confess the sin. Is it prayerlessness? Is it procrastination? Is it addiction to self, to drunkenness? Is it addiction to unbelief? Is it family spare? Whatever it is, ask God to break it. Break the yoke. Break this yoke. Break this yoke. Set me free. Set me loose. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I declare into your life the yoke is broken. The limitation is over. Being expanded in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Till we meet again, the Lord bless you. Thank you for listening. You can follow us at Faithful Along Dari on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And our WhatsApp number 0703 801 9213. God bless you.